What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? I hope you are having a fantastic day. What is happening, guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. This is the BMW i8, but is it worth $150,000? I don't know. We'll see. Hey, this is Brian. Thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. Hi, I'm Pat, and welcome back to the channel. Hello, everyone. I'm Soto from Fit Garage. If you're subscribed, welcome back to the channel. Oh, hi there. Okay, well that was the worst intro ever. Um, here's my uh, F30 335i with the M55 engine. So today, we're gonna be talking about spark knock slash boost cut slash misfire slash just your car breaking up under high load, um, especially in a tuned application. But first, before I start showing you the nitty gritty, I gotta clean this and then go down to my work, my workspace. So yeah, see you in a minute. So it's a bit later, um, yeah. So um, what you could be having, if your engine's cutting like at high RPM is where I found it, it just wasn't really making power. I think it was past like 5,500, um, it kind of would cut out. I never really got on it that much when it was stock, like up to five grand, I would shift before then. But uh, tuned, definitely, I was noticing it. So here's the, uh, the good old engine bay. As you can see, it's kind of a mess and it's gonna be a pain to get to my coils and plugs because this is in the way but i'll explain it without the engine bay so you're driving along you're at like five grand you're making good boost you're getting on it and then it'll make like the the sound the car makes when it dsg farts or shifts it would make that but like four times and basically that was a power cutting um i still don't know if it was spark knock or like some type of boost cut or something um i'm guessing it was some type of like spark knock slash misfire because the car was, I mean, we drove, the last time it happened, we drove probably 300 miles. It was cooking hot. And what is happening is, there's a fly on my camera. What was happening, what's happening is the piston's so hot that when it does its compression stroke, it's actually pre-igniting the gasoline, making it freak out like that, which is, I guess, kind of similar to how the DSG works. Don't quote me on that. All right, so um, here was in my particular case. We have a fly still on me, but uh, here's my plugs. I'm going to scratch up my paint, of course. Here's my plugs, and uh, new plugs are clean. That is not very clean if you see that. That is very, very fouled. Um, yeah. So you can see it's pretty fouled up and kind of crusty. That's because of, obviously, your burble tune is going to make that really bad. And also, when I had installed these plugs originally, these are the Bosch BMW ones. Um, I didn't have them gapped properly. That's probably like a 0.5 gap. You're supposed to do like a 0.23 for tuned applications. I can leave on the screen, and I'll leave a link to what you should gap your plugs for based off of how much boost you're making. Now, the other big thing is plugs are one thing. These plugs last me about 7,000 miles with burbles, which is actually pretty decent. Um, and they weren't gapped, so that probably didn't help the longevity. But if you go here, this is the new coil I had to pick up. But um, I have a video on Instagram I'll put right here. But basically, the, um, hold on, let me unbox this. But basically, one of my coils had gotten unseated without my knowledge. And if you look down in there, it's going to be very hard to see. Um, normally, inside of a coil, you'll see, like, shiny silver. What had happened is this was actually all white. And um, it was corroded because moisture was getting in there, corroding the uh, contact between the top of the plug and the uh, coil. So uh, that's another thing to check when you do your plugs. Just take a look in your coils if it's corroded. You, you should, you should, normally you should be able to see the shiny silver. But if you look in there and it's all black, which that's why you can't see it right now, that means your plug's corroded and you're probably going to have some type of misfire issue. Um, another thing, make sure you torque your spark plugs down right because if they're not down enough, 
um, you can't be having enough heat dissipation, which means you're gonna again have early early detonation, which is not the best. Um, I'm sure if my car seems fine, I just ripped it today and it was perfect. Like you know, shifting real late and it just it worked. It worked. It made power. It did good. But um, I'm sure if you drove it like this for a while, you're gonna have issues. Um, I would recommend for your upgraded plugs getting these laser iridium ones by NGK. Um, I've talked to a bunch of people on Instagram running stage one, stage two. They swear by them. I'm hoping they last longer. Right now I have the burbles up all the way, which is the worst possible you know, thing you can do for your plugs, but it's cool for shows and to be that asshole. But um, as you can see, it corrodes the stock ones. I'm hoping since I have them gapped properly and they're a higher, they're made of iridium versus whatever the Bosch ones are made out of, um, it should last longer. I can update on that later. But yeah, if you're having boost cut issues or anything like that, before you go diagnosing, like, you know, if you have a boost leak or something like that, just go ahead, check your, your uh, coils and your plugs, make sure they're all good. Um, my issue was fouled plugs. There could be issues with boost leaks in your charge pipe or in your boost pipe, but spark plugs are easy. If you don't have a strut brace like I do, you literally just pull off the engine cover you pop your, out your coils and you can check them. They're easy to check. Um, if not, you gotta then go into your plugs. You have to get a thin wall plug socket because BMW is special and they have to use thin wall stuff. Um, I can leave links to that. But if you do all that, you should be good and you should be able to rip on your car. Um, I've looked up boost cut, spark knock, whatever on the N55s. I couldn't find anything on it. But um, honestly, the car is good now. I have about 150 miles on these new plugs. I just did them the other day and uh, it seems to be running good So before you go take take it to a tech or detune your car or whatever check your plugs You could be having a misfire spark spark knock or pre detonation. So yeah Also another thing I forgot to mention especially if you're on tuned applications um, I don't know if MHD does it, but I know boot mode does it You can actually if you have your laptop plugged in which is how you tune the car you can watch your boost levels and if this doesn't help you, it's hard to see in your data logs when there's like spark knock or cut or whatever, but um, just watch your boost gauge. Normally on a stage one application, you should be making about 16 pounds of boost till you'll peak at 21 pounds, but it'll hover around 16. Uh, stock is eight pounds. So just make sure it's not leaking. If it's leaking, if the car is leaking, you're honestly gonna hear it. Um, if you don't have an intake, you're gonna hear a lot of like intake type sounds. Um, if you're on a, that's if you're on a stock filter. If you do have an upgraded intake, it's going to be a little bit harder to tell, but you will be able to hear it a lot better. Like if you're having a boost leak issue, and also you'll get on it. I have a video on my channel of when my charge pipe blew up, but you'll kind of get on it and it'll go, but it won't really. It feels like it's just it falls on its face because you're not getting the right air fuel ratio in there. It's not boosted air. It's just sucking in raw air without a filter. So yeah, if the, any of the plug slash coil things that I mentioned doesn't work. It could be a boost leak. If not, I don't know. Just shoot me a DM on Instagram or comment on the video and I can try to help you out to the best of my knowledge. But yeah, uh, no one had a video on this, so I figured I'd make one. Thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more BMW slash BMW N55 slash just whatever the hell video I upload. I don't know what I upload anymore. Just check it out. Thanks for watching. Bye.